Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And so recently, I've been pretty heavily collecting for the Xbox 360. And the reason for that is because I think the Xbox is at a point in time where I'm starting to get nostalgic for it. The games are super cheap for it. And honestly, they look really good next to each other on the shelf. So let's have a look at what games I've picked up and games that I recommend you maybe pick up. So without further ado, let's get into it. So, like I said, Xbox 360 games are super cheap secondhand, and I think the reason for that is Xbox games don't really hold their value like Nintendo games do. There is a ton of games out there in the wild, and I just don't feel like people collect for the Xbox as much as PlayStation and especially Nintendo. These days, I can just go into my local secondhand store and find Xbox 360 games in huge piles for $5 a piece. Some of the rarer titles may go for a little bit more, but 95% of the games you find are going to be roughly $5 a piece. Now, there are a ton of open world RPG games on the Xbox 360, and one of my favorite games is The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion, an open world RPG fantasy game. A game that got me hyped for the Xbox 360. I remember coming off of Morrowind and seeing this brand new Elder Scrolls game coming out for the 360, picking it up and becoming obsessed with it the day I picked it up. Now, I think I speak for a lot of people that this generation definitely introduced us to the Fallout franchise after it was acquired by Bethesda. At the time, I was used to Bethesda releasing fantasy type games and to see them developing a game in almost the complete opposite setting was kind of weird but interesting. But after playing Fallout 3, I was a fan for life, and I know I can't talk about Fallout without mentioning New Vegas. Now, I'm actually a big fan of horror games, and the 360 had a decent selection of them. However, it had my favourite horror game of all time, Fear 1, which is a psychological action horror game. It blended a lot of these elements together really well. It didn't rely on jump scares too much and had some really creepy intense moments. The game was especially ahead of its time with its lighting and the way it reacted to the environments and the way NPCs behaved. It communicated with each other, used the environment to navigate around you and actually would try to flank you and communicate with each other. Another one of my favourite horror games, which also leans more on the psychological horror side, is Condemned 1. You play as a detective, trying to solve a string of murders that string you along a linear style level design such as drug dens, subways, underground sewers and more while defending yourself against people who I think are drug addicts but or maybe monsters, I'm actually not too sure. The game doesn't rely on just aimlessly mowing enemies down, it gives you a gun but with very limited ammo. The Xbox 360 had a ton of first person shooter games and was the generation that really popularised them with the biggest influence being Call of Duty. However, some of the first person shooter games that stand out the most to me are games such as Far Cry 3, a franchise that I really love for its setting in different parts of the world. But for me, 3 really hit the sweet spot and I think it's the best Far Cry game to date. There is also games like Left 4 Dead, which was an amazing pick up and play game with friends. You can finish each level from anywhere from 20 to 40 minutes and has an arcade feel to it which to this day still holds up really well. There are even open world RPG shooter games such as Borderlands, which for me the first game still stands as my favourite one in the series. I do feel like the Borderlands games did start to get a little bit silly, but I think the first one was just right. The Xbox 360 was flooded with Guitar Hero and Rock Band games, but despite being its downfall, I was all for it and I loved these games. If you were looking for these guitars and games 5 years ago, you would find these in the bargain bins for cheap as chips, but nowadays the guitar peripherals are really going up in price. My favourite Guitar Hero game was definitely World Tour, I overall just enjoyed the track list for this one, it had a great variety of genres. Another thing is, I feel like they got the highway just right in this one. But I mean, I loved all of the Guitar Hero and Rock Band games, so honestly, they're all just amazing in my opinion. Now I'm sure everybody has their guilty pleasure game, and I certainly have mine. It's a game called Two Worlds, and it's an open world RPG game, and it's notoriously bad. But for me, this is my guilty pleasure game. And the funny thing about this game is, on the back it literally says Oblivion on steroids. Now I don't know about that, but I will give the game some credit. It is pretty ambitious for its time, and actually did do a few things that Oblivion didn't do, like horseback combat, but the game's not very good, but I don't know, there's just something about this game that always draws me in, and I guess, yeah, that's why I call this one my guilty pleasure. 
And some honorable mentions is the Fable series. The first game was definitely the best in my opinion, but second is also really enjoyable. There is also the Metro series, which is similar to the Fallout games, but plays in a more linear style with the concept of people being underground and using Metro tunnels to travel around a post-apocalyptic Russia. The Gears of War series, which was a gore fest and a fantastic game to just enjoy some mindless over-the-top violence. You got some other ones ones like Dead Space which is a really fun action horror game and so much more. Anyway guys, what do you think of the Xbox 360? Have you obtained yourself a decent collection for it? I would love to know what you guys think of this console. Personally, I think it was one of the best generations and is still a good time to collect for. However, I think games may start going up a little bit but won't get to Nintendo level. Thank you guys for checking out the video and until then, I will catch you next time.